Let's play a game of Would You Rather. Would you rather buy a house or a serpentine? Welcome back to Jules Weekly. Today we're going to be talking about a particularly beautiful brand. It's one of my favorites. It's Bulgari. Lovers of history and fine jewelry, Bulgari has got you covered. The high-end Italian jewelry brand was founded in 1880s by Saterios Bulgari. Bulgari was born in the Epirus village of Paramethia, the most important silversmithing town of the Balkans, and was taught the craft as he was from a long line of silversmiths. He took his skill and ventured out to Italy where he opened his first shop in 1884. By 1909, as he was already so successful, he moved shop to its present location in Rome to a street named Via Condotti. Let me tell you about my personal experience with this location. It is prime real estate. Any brand that is internationally known and lavish has a home here. How do I know this? Seven years ago, I studied abroad in Rome and had the pleasure of discovering every street park and restaurant. It was a magical time of my life. Anyways, I spent most of my free time between Piazza del Popolo and Fontana di Trapi and Via Condotti Falls geographically right in the middle. As I mentioned, this street is occupied by the most luxurious stores, most delicious restaurants, and filled with so much culture and history. I didn't know much about this luxury brand then, but I vividly remember looking into the store and thinking, wow, it looks like a museum of the most beautiful art that is jewelry. Little did I know, a few years later, I would be working with this magnificent brand. Jumping back into a few more important points in Bulgari's history. The Bulgari logo was used for the first time in 1934 in reference to the Latin alphabet, the U was replaced with the letter V and a logo was born. Don't let the spelling fool you though, it's still pronounced Bulgari. Phonetically, Bulgari. Saterio's two sons, Giorgio and Constantino, are so important to mention because they introduced one of the most famous Bulgari motifs, the serpent, or as most of us know it as the snake collection, in 1940. The Dolce Vita era of the 50s was a particularly important time for Bulgari because it acquired some major clients such as Elizabeth Taylor and other well-known movie stars, which gave Bulgari international visibility and an even wider range of A-list clientele. Let me ask you a question. What is your favorite collection? I want to hear from you. Please comment below. Although Bulgari has a number of recognizable collections, like the ring I have here and the earrings, in my opinion, the most iconic of them all is the Serpentine. So from the vault, I have brought a very special piece to show you. This is one of my favorites and one of the first encounters that I had with Bulgari jewelry. It is a Serpentine bracelet. The retail is just a little bit under $300,000, and you can see why. Let me tell you about my first encounter with this exclusive collection. I just started working at Luxury Bazaar, and I knew quite a bit about Bulgari by this point, but never had seen such perfection in jewelry in real life until this particular rendezvous. We received this beautiful, voluptuous serpentine necklace. It was the mate to this bracelet. Boss man asked me if I mind modeling for a few photos to send to clients, and all it took was a couple of seconds to fall in absolute love. Within just a couple of minutes, the necklace was sold and on its way to its new home in United Arab Emirates, and I wanted to follow it so badly. Launched in 1940s, as aforementioned, the first Serpentine models did not include a head or tail, but had the same signature coil mechanism for flexibility and comfort on the wearer. Bulgari's history took to Greek and Roman mythology to create this iconic motif, where snakes represented positive characteristics such as seductiveness, rebirth, strength, healing, protection, and eternity. In the 1960s, their design grew way more sophisticated. Using enamel and different gems, Bulgari started creating more realistic portrayals of a snake from its head to its scales, all the way down to its tail. Also during this time, the demand for the Serpentine collection began to peak, but it wasn't until Elizabeth Taylor wore a Bulgari secret watch to a publicity shoot for her movie Cleopatra in 1962. 
that had gained international fame. Truth be told, I believe Elizabeth Taylor was Bulgari's biggest marketing coup prior to the digital consumption takeover. The actress was a documented Bulgari fanatic, just ask Google. Her husband and co-star, Richard Burton, was allegedly quoted saying, the only Italian Elizabeth knows is Bulgari. And I introduced her to beer, and she introduced me to Bulgari. I introduced her to beer, and she introduced me to Bulgari. <laughs> Bulgari was a huge part of the couple's relationship. Taylor received several Bulgari jewelry gifts from Burton. Rumor has it the couple would secretly meet up and spend the day at the Bulgari store on Via Condotti to get away from the paparazzi. Quite the date, am I right? Why is Serpentis so expensive? Hmm. It is artfully handcrafted by skilled jewelers using only the finest materials. It is very exclusive. Just look at the price tag. The snake scales are carefully hinged together, allowing each piece to coil around the neck, wrist, or finger as the animal would itself in real life. This takes real craftsmanship. The serpentine design is now 80 years old, and during all these years, it has continuously reinvented itself and improved over time. There's a huge celebrity influence, especially on the red carpet. Look at Jamie King, Jessica Biel, Naomi Watts, Bella Hadid, and my lady crush, Charlize Theron. Here's an ART. Would you prefer Bulgari Serpenti or Cartier Panther? I want to hear from you in the comments below. I appreciate you tuning into this week's episode of Jules Weekly. If you love the content, please subscribe and comment below. Don't forget to hit the bell. And we'll see you next week. Ciao, bellissima! We are walking like in the Dolce Vita. This time we got it right. We're living like in 